When it comes to the Kamehameha, series creator Akira Toriyama actually tried several different poses in the confines of his own home before he finally settled upon the form that we are accustomed to today. The name Kamehameha was actually a recommendation from his wife, Nachi Mikami. Apparently Mikami chose that name because it would be easy for Toriyama to remember if he named the attack after the late Hawaiian king, Kamehameha the Great. The Kamehameha, also known as the Turtle Destruction Wave, was created by Muten Roshi, the Turtle Hermit. The move itself took Roshi 50 years to develop and master, while Goku, for example, was able to use the move despite it being significantly weaker than Roshi's Kamehameha after only witnessing the move one time. The Kamehameha would then proceed to be learned in rapid succession by others such as Krillin, Yamcha, Ten Shin Han, and just about every other Z fighter in the series, along with a few very notable series villains. The move in its purest form is a whitish blue color and is created by drawing back both of your hands to your side, cupping them together and concentrating all of your latent energy into a single point within your hands right before releasing it. As a result, the move is very flexible and has several different variations, such as Gohan's one-handed Kamehameha, also known as the father-son Kamehameha, and even Goku's feet Kamehameha. As a matter of fact, I've got to say that's my personal favorite Kamehameha variation. The way Goku broke that attack out against Ma Jr. or Piccolo Jr. in Dragon Ball was just awesome. As for the question of the video, I'd like to know what your favorite Kamehameha is. Using game terms here, is it the angry Kamehameha? How about the father-son Kamehameha? Or, 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 hear me out, the family Kamehameha that stopped Broly in his tracks back in Broly's second coming. Let me know down below in a comment, and as always, this has been D-Free. That is it for me. Peace out. Whoa, before you get into the video, be sure to follow me on Instagram at dfreedbzhd. You guys will be able to find me on there, and you guys can have some fun with me, interact with me. Uh, I've had this Instagram for a while. I'm just now getting back into the flow of using a lot of other forms of social media. As you see, my subscriber follower count is low. So when you go over there and follow, be sure to come back to this video that you're currently watching and leave in the comments, hashtag followed, hashtag krillin it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Peace.